Hey, have you ever wanted to get your persona as a plushie? Or maybe just wanted to snag your favorite for a YouTuber as a plushie? Well, I talked to somebody who specializes in this. Ready? Let's go! Hey guys, I'm Kame Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. I recently got in contact with a furry plush maker. Not somebody who specializes in making in fuzzy plushies, but somebody who specializes in making plushies of the furry fandom. And they are known as build a fur headed by Amy Starr, artist of Corgi Beans. I reached out to build a fur asking for an interview and they agreed to answer some of my questions. Are you ready? Let's go. Question number one, I asked them, why did you decide to start making plushies of the furry fandom? Well, back in 2019, they started working with people like Beta Alpha Silota. Probably screwed up his name. Probably the spelling right over here. And Pineapple Fox to make stickers, pop ups for your phones, not the electric ones, the ones that go on the back of your phones, and Emmanuel pins. And when they got in their head, they wanted to start making plushies. At conventions, they saw not a whole lot of custom plushies being made. Sure, there was plushies of furry characters being sold, but those were mainly the mainstream version, like Rock and Raccoon, Bugs Bunny, so on and so forth. But not really furry furry characters, like ours. So they talked to Beta, and after much negotiating, Beta agreed to have his character, Maverick, be made into a plushie. After that, they made one for Pineapple Fox. And they have gone on to make other plushies for people like Majira Strawberry, Bakari Roo, and Omnom Squirrel. Question number two I asked, how often do you open for quotes? And what would you need to make a plushie? Their answer is they open for quotes about every three months or so. They need at least a two-sided, unshaded, a reference sheet of your character you want to be made into a plushie. More sides are better because this gives them more views to work with. Have a better idea of how markings flow. You do not have to accept a quote, but once you do, you accept it, they go into a pile of interested parties. Where then Amy will go through it and find the one that they think would be the best ones for our plushies. This also includes visual appeal and complexity. Question number three. How long is the typical turnaround for you? Their answer is typically it takes about two to three months from taking the ones they select, designing how the plushies should look and sending them off to the manufacturer to get made. It might go Longer, it might be shorter. Once again, it depends on how complex the character is. Question number four on my list. What species would you love to tackle in the future? Right now, I am tackling a protogen. I am just starting to make the concept art for one. It is very difficult, but I hope I can achieve the look I am going for. Besides protogens, I would love to make Mal kids, if there's a demand for them. In case you did not know, protogens and mal kids are original species. I recently made a video about these species as fursuits, pinned in the comments below. Be sure to check it out later. As for the protogen being difficult to make into a plushie, yeah, I can see that honestly. It's like if you take Optimus Prime and one make into a plushie. You got find a way to make a cool looking robot and do a soft, huggable thing. There's a fine line with it. The final question is, what was the hardest project to date at Build a Fur? So far, it is the protogen. It is a very difficult species to illustrate in plush form. And I feel my manufacturer will find it challenging as well. Another difficult plush was Omnoms. Due to the complexity of design, and materials used. Their species is like a winged squirrel. 
for simplicity's sake, I'm going to show a picture of Om Nom's fursuit right over here. Yeah, there's a lot of different patterns going on. And to take this into a small huggable plushie, yeah, it takes a bit of effort. No lie about that. I would personally love to get Kame as a plushie at one point. Not sure if anyone else would be interested in getting a Kame plushie. Oh well, we'll see over time, right? If you want plushies of your own characters, if they have options where you can get it as a single plushie, or a hundred count crate. Yes, a hundred individual plushies of your character. They include a license so you can sell all your plushies, but only in the hundred count batch. It was after doing a bit of review on who's behind Bill Fur that I realized I knew their character from somewhere. Then I realized I saw their character on FurryDokimura.com, which I did another interview with. If you were curious to see what Furry Dokimuras are, that'll be linked in the cards above and description below. Be sure to check it out later. But that being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furries you might know. And I hope to see y'all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.